नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम टू पी गुरु चैनल आई एम योर होस्ट श्री आयर लास्ट एपिसोड और अ फ्यू एपिसोड्स अबो वी सॉ दैट इलान मस्क एंड हिज ब्रदर आर ऑन द रेडार ऑफ द एसईसी फॉर इनसाइडर ट्रेडिंग व्हाट अबाउट आवर एस्टीम मेंबर्स ऑफ द कांग्रेस एंड सेनेट यू सी देयर इज एन एक्ट कॉल्ड स्टॉप ट्रेडिंग ऑन कंग्रेशनल नॉलेज एक्ट ऑफ 2012 also called in in short as stock act turns out that 57 members of senate and congress are in violation of this in some way or the other the congress passed this law a decade ago to combat insider trading and conflicts of interest among their own members and force lawmakers to be more transparent about their financial dealings a key provision of this law mandates that the lawmakers publicly and quickly disclose any stock trade made by either themselves their spouse or a dependent child so it's pretty comprehensive but it turns out that many members of the congress have not fully complied with the law they offer excuses including ignorance of the law clerical errors mistakes by an accountant you know it. according to an article in business insider there is this kind of a phenomenon called as conflicted congress which is what they chose to name it is quite prevalent and now let us take a look at some of the people who are in violation by the way the fine is peanuts 200 dollars and even that is many times waived by the house or senate ethics officials now how do we fix this thing we we'll come to that in a little bit later let us see who are all the ones that are going to make the great i'm just picking 10 players here and there are 57 total and their staffers also uh, are, are violating this thing and there are about 162 plus violations by them also we're not going to take a look at the staffers let's just take a look at the big enchiladas here we go The first one is my favorite, Senator Diane Feinstein, because she belongs to my state. Now, it she is months late in disclosing a five-figure investment her husband made. Next, we come to Senator of Alabama, a Republican, Tommy Tuberville. What has he done? He was months late in disclosing nearly. 130 separate stock transactions by the way some of these people have made millions in the stock market and they forgot to inform the sec or the uh, the rules committee whoever is monitoring the stock act here is mark kelly another senator from arizona he's a democrat he failed to disclose his investment in a company that's developing a supersonic passenger aircraft <laughs> lots of different variations here rep meaning a congresswoman from illinois a democrat sherry bustos late in disclosing sold up to 150000 dollars worth of stocks again another congressman from texas a republican pat fallon months late disclosing stock trades worth 17.53 million remember i told you that many who have made millions and have not disclosed Diana Harshberger from Tennessee another congresswoman failed to disclose more than 700 stock trades worth 10.9 million dollars it could be more or less guys but you can see read the fine print another one Blake Moore from Texas did not disclose stock and stock option trades worth 1.1 million and Brian Mast the representative from Florida he was late in disclosing purchase of Hundred thousand dollars work stocks in an aerospace company. Kevin Hearn from Oklahoma did not disclose nearly two dozen stock trades worth two point seven million dollars. Susie Lee, uh, Congresswoman from Nevada, another Democrat, failed to disclose more than two hundred stock trades worth one point three million. I'm sorry, three point three million dollars. So you get the idea. This is just a small list. Fifty seven. violations have been cited this is a business insider article i'm going to give you the link so you can read the entire details about all this now what is the way out of this can the um uh, can a rule can the stock act be modified 
to prevent congressmen and senators from buying individual stocks because that's where the maximum amount of money can be made. In fact, there is another law, if I remember correctly, that essentially uh, cannot uh, that that prohibits senators and congressmen from being um, prosecuted on stock trading charges. Like for example, if they did insider trading and so on and so forth. I am I have to go back and look at that to see what was the, the exact act. But let us set that thing aside for a moment. Do you think that congressmen and senators should be allowed to trade in individual stocks? Why not make it mandatory for them that if they want to trade uh, in stocks, in portfolios, then they can only trade in ETF, that is exchange traded funds or mutual funds, not individual stocks. If, if you like this, can you please give in a comment saying that I support this? And if you don't like it, please also comment saying I don't support it and explain why you don't support it. After all, this is a program to try and enrich and be enriched. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell button. Namaskar. Thank you.